Hello there. I think I'm going to raise the camera just a bit. Okay. I'm going to put this magnetic configuration on ferrocell. Let me turn out the lights. This ferro cell was just made with some uh, leftover fluid that I was testing different mixes and stuff. So it's just a little fun. Looks really nice. I haven't done any ferrocell stuff recently. I thought I'd make some uh, video on that. These are uh, four one inch long by one half by one half inch magnets. It looks like under it. Okay, you got my black cloth. I'm only doing this by my hand, so it's a little shaky here. Just get a better position. I made a ferro photo of this as well, which I will upload later. Here's on the side. And the other side. On the side up here, like this. I like these square ferro cells. They can give you a nice, uh, a nice image where you got spaces in the corners and you got straight lines instead of, instead of uh, round lines. You can really see, even though it's a straight LED strip here straight and straight and straight you get curved paths as the uh, the ferro particles um, form, you know form to the field and they, they sort of I've seen uh, films where they've had microscope on it and you see them stretching out and they're all separated by the surfactant keeps them parallel to each other so the light's bouncing off these things and it shows you amazing results, like way better than, uh, uh, you know, iron filings or something like that.
I think the weight of the magnets is actually sort of squeezing the ferrofluid. Let's try to bring it on its end. That's kind of cool. I really like these fields. They really look very beautiful to me. Let's try the other side. I love ferro cells. Oops. Well, enough of that.